Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Midland Civic Arena in Midland, Michigan tonight. We're bringing you the game between the Midland High Chemex and the Dow High Chargers. This is the first meeting between these two teams. My name is Terry Hanley, and tonight with me is Jake Rietma. We're going to bring you all the action tonight for this game. Uh, this game is a non-league game, but still, Jake, it's Midland High versus Dow High. Oh, yeah, Terry, what, and what an atmosphere. You know, the fans arrived here early and in bunches, and uh, whether you're a player or a fan or a sportscaster, it's, it's great to be involved in games like these, and I'm really looking forward to the drop of the puck. Yeah, it's, and it's like you said, the student section showed up early tonight. Uh, that's always a good thing. Let's get into these teams a little bit. Home team tonight is Dow High. They come in with a record of 11-1-1, 3-1-1 in the Valley. A uh, team that's on a roll, a tie Wednesday night against uh, Heritage, but they're still playing good hockey. Oh, yeah, that's something they've been doing well all year is just playing great team hockey, you know, and the numbers speak for themselves. Off to an absolute, fa absolutely fantastic start, 11-1-1, and, one and, one, and um, they're good enough to be ranked fifth in Division Two, which is certainly impressive for Coach Blazey's Chargers. They'll look to continue the winning ways tonight. Let's talk about Midland High now. Midland High this year, they graduated 12 seniors last year. They're coming in with a whole new group, 2-9 and nine on the record. Or, and, you know, they're 1-2 and two in the Valley, which doesn't hurt them in the Valley, but still a struggling year for this team. Oh, yeah, and any time, like you mentioned, you graduate 12 players, there's going to be some growing pains moving forward, and that's something that Coach Brown and the Chemics have had to deal with early. But uh, the beautiful thing about sports is you get new opportunities all the time, and what an opportunity here tonight for the Midland High Chemics to come away with kind of a momentum-building win against the rival Dow High Chargers. Well, and that's how this game sets up tonight, too. I mean, we, 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 we both know no matter how good one team is playing better than the other, it doesn't really matter. In any sport, when these two teams get together, it's always a great adventure. Oh, yeah. Anything can happen in a rivalry game, as we know. And, it, again, we're coming to you live from the Civic Midland Civic Center tonight. Uh, both these teams are on the ice for warm-ups. We're looking forward to a great game tonight. Crowd is filling in. It's filled up upstairs. It's filling up in the stands. Uh, Jake, the game tonight. I mean, how do we look for these teams to come out tonight? Well, the Chargers have a lot of team speed, so they'll look to capitalize on opportunities and move the puck around. They're a great passing team, and that they'll look to use that to lead to offensive production. And for Midland High, it's really finding them, all about finding their identity. As we've mentioned, they struggled a little bit all year long, and uh, what better way to get back into the win, win column than here tonight against the rival mid or Dow High rather. And again, we, we look at this game tonight. Both teams are going to count on their goaltenders. Uh, you know, it's a big part. The Chemex has struggled a little bit in the goaltending area. Uh, we'll see. We, we're still not sure who they're going to start tonight. We know Derek Stryker for the Chargers. He's doing a pretty decent job so far in that for them. Uh, again, you know, goaltending will have a huge key on this game tonight. Definitely. And like you mentioned, Stryker's been a steady goaltender for the Chargers all year long and a big part of their success and the reason they're 11-1 and one and one so far this season. Also, let's talk about the leading scorer for the Chargers thus far. Steven Roberts comes in with 29 points, Terry, and that's certainly impressive this early in the season. Well, we, you know, I've, I've been able to make a few of these games this year, and it's been fun, you know, watching both teams. You know, the, the Chargers, have, uh, you know, like you would talk, they're one of those fast skating teams, and they use that to their advantage a lot. Uh, Midland High, you know, I think when you watch this team play hockey, you know, they're a team that's going to build and I think get better as they do build with this team, get to know each other and play stronger, and I think that will come around for them later in the season. Yeah, Midland High was able to score five goals in their last game against against Mount Pleasant, who's Absolutely. not as talented of a team, but uh, – Anytime, when you're struggling putting the puck in the net as Midland High was, exactly. it's always great to see the puck go in as many times as it did Wednesday night. And for Dow, you touched on it a little bit. They had a huge game, a showdown against Heritage, and they came away with an unsatisfying tie. So let's see if they can uh, get going in the right direction here tonight. And again, I think, uh, like you said, when you're struggling and you can get five goals, that's where you want to get it. Well, right now we're going to turn it over to the public announcer, Dick Blazy. He's going to announce the starting lineups, and we'll get the national anthem and get going.
Referees tonight are Ryan Coletto, Brandon Spadowski is our other ref, and Jason Ruppel is going to be the linesman tonight for this game. Uh, we just heard during the announcement that uh, Mr. Colin Walters will be the starting goaltender for the Chemex tonight. So, you know, I think that this will be a good test for him to see what he can carry out with his game right now. Yeah, what a stage to step up for Absolutely. the youngster and really solidify his spot as the goaltender for Midland High. Well, both teams are huddled, around, huddled up around their prospective nets. Coming out here, Mr. ruffle has got the puck. He's ready to do the face-off here at center ice, and we'll get this game underway. Yeah, Terry, we touched on it briefly, but it's worth noting again, just the electricity and the atmosphere in the building. You can feel it from both teams, uh, recognizing how big of a rivalry this is. And uh, I'm, I'm jealous of the kids that get to go out there and compete, you know. Absolutely. Despite what's when you miss being on the team, that's right? That's right, that's right. Well, so. we're going to give you a couple announcements here real quick. MCDV channels are now moving on the Charter Communications channel. Starting Tuesday, January 21st, the MCTV 4 Community Access channels will be 188 through 191 now on your Charter Communications. And here we go. Puck is dropped. Chemex win the face-off. Get it deep. Controlled by the Dow defense and dumped in deep by the Chemex. Uh, we've got control center iced and dumped in by Dow. Evans picks it up around the boards. Chargers are still able to control the puck and dump it back in deep. Moody with the puck, pushes it up. Brookins keeps it in. Around the right side here, kept in by the Chargers. And a quick shot, Walters makes a chest save. Brought in behind the net and Chemex are still trying to clear it. Brookins still keeps it in. And here it's brought out. Chemex are able to bring it out. Evans brings it up the boards to the red line, dumps it in. Brookins grabs it around as a couple line changes, changes being made here real quick. Big hit that time for Midland High by number 20, Jonathan Evans. Yeah, he's a big hitter. He'll take some hits for this team. Pucks deep again into the Charger zone. Or Chemex zone, excuse me. Put in! And it's a goal. First goal off quick. Goal scored by Steven Roberts right there as we talked earlier in the game, and he's able to score right away. So Right on cue, right place, right time. Saw that loose puck and knew exactly what to do with it, Terry. No hesitation, an assertive move, finds the back of the net. And that's our new top line right there for the Chargers coming up, and uh, we'll see who get, if there's any assists brought out on that. We'll get that call here shortly. And, uh, Char so Chargers at... Uh, a minute one into the game, get the first goal of this game, and they get control of the puck again, off the face-off, and take control, and 
setting it up early, coming at it. Lose control in their zone. We got a breakaway here, right here. And we got a late whistle. Play still going. Jacob Coffey with a quick shot, but we have a whistle here. I'm not sure if that was offsides or. Boy, that would have been huge for Midland High to come right back with oh, the call. Oh, absolutely. No doubt about it. Looks like it's going to be an offsides call here. I don't know why the play kept going for that amount of time. You, but You still like to see the aggressive attack by Midland High trying to get right back into this game. They were kicked in the mouth early, but uh, they got to respond here. So the assist there. We're still waiting on the assist there on that goal by Roberts, but uh, again, Chargers take control here early in this in this game, and a uh, little uh, friendly atmosphere going here at center ice between Mr. McNally and Luke Trombley. <laughs> or and, not uh, so friendly, either yeah, one. <laughs> just talking. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, yeah. Asking them how their day was. Recipes, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so the Chargers, again, dumping in quick, and that's going to be an icing against the Chargers, so it's going to come all the way back down into their zone for the faceoff. And uh, we'll get this thing moving again. But again, nice setup for the Chargers, able to get the quick goal. And, uh, you know, something they were looking forward, I think, to do is get the quick goal. Yep, that's Roberts' 21st goal of the season. There you go. We talked about his stats in the early going. Very impressive. And he picks up right where he left off. So puck is deep now into the Chargers zone, trying to get clear. Shane Meyer able to get the puck to get a backhand shot out again real quick. Defense for the Chemics take control and oh, another quick Ooh. shot and almost another a goal there for the Chemics. Mitchell Gardner able to get a shot off. Chemics still controlling here. Gardner's getting good. Pick it up behind the net. Defense for the Chargers are coming in. Now the Chargers get control and McNally bringing it up the outside. Able to dump it in the zone. We got a penalty coming here. Draw the tripping the call. Yep, got the tripping call. Chemex will go in the box, and Chargers are going to get a power play here. The aggressive play by McNally, putting pressure on the Midland High defense, forcing that penalty that time, and another opportunity for the Chargers to really take a stranglehold in the early going. Well, and that's where you see their, their speed. You know, I think like we had talked earlier, they're able to get through that blue line, and sometimes you get caught flat-footed, and you get called for that penalty. So here we go. Chargers get control, and they're going to set up in the Chemex zone. Quick shot right away. Chargers still got control, low in the circle, back up. Wagner takes control over to his other defensive partner. Back to Wagner on the point here. Wagner with another quick shot. Walters with a save, still fighting for it. Still loose, and Walters gets it covered. Big save that time by Walters as Dow was able to get a nice shot and a second rebound chance, but Walters played big in that there. So right now we've got Ethan, Ethan Loftus for the Chargers out at center on the power play, Milholland. And I believe it's Bruce Shaver out there with them on the power play right now. Puck goes over to Wagner, blocked in front. Milholland with a sh try to go after it, and the puck's kicked out. Wagner with it. Brings it over to Lee, back to Wagner, and dumped in. And the Chargers going after it. Moody down low for the defense on Kemick's side, trying to pin it against the boards. Doing so, two guys for the Chargers trying to fight for it. Still got it tied up. It's good penalty killing right here for the Chemex. Chargers able to clear it out. Back up to Lee. Down low. Bruce Shaver with it. Walking it around. Lee Wagner. Quick shot again. And it, oh, high shot by Bruce Shaver. Misses, goes over the net. Had an open net there. Absolutely. 50 seconds still left here on the power play. Up to the point. Quick shot again. Blocked in front. Luke Trombley with a block. Bruce Shaver with a puck now, trying to find something. Pisses up, the, puts it up to Lee, down low to Wagner on the side. Chargers doing a good job, but Kemmerich's doing a good, great job keeping it out of the net. Another quick shot by Bruce Shaver. Loftus in the corner now, fighting for it. He and Trombley fighting for it. 20 seconds left on this power play, and it's kicked out, cleared out. Both teams will probably try to get a quick change here. A huge Kemmerich's not kill. allowed. Yeah, Kemmerich's not allowed to get the defensive change there, though. They're going to be tired. Walters should, yep, take the whistle. Oh, yeah. And get a change for his defensive partners. Ten seconds left on that penalty. And what a huge kill early in the go early on here in this game by Midland High. Backs against the wall, already down one nothing. Desperately need to kill off the remaining ten seconds of this power play. They've done a great job so far, but still have to finish it off with the last ten seconds. Chargers win the faceoff again, but push it out of the zone. So this should pretty much do the penalty. Chargers to get control, passed over. Quick shot by Roberts, goes wide. McNally with the puck, keeps it in. Stick 
flying out now. Leslie with no stick. Comes out. Uh, Krenzlin with the puck, be able to push it in. Kemix on a change. No icing. Kemix now bringing the puck up, cleared it out of the zone. Back to full strength. Huge kill. Quick pass now. McNally with. He puts it in. McNally with a quick shot and scores. McNally beat him stick side. He did. And this is one of those worries right there. But uh, McNally with a quick wrist shot, able to put it in stick side on uh, Walters. And Chargers are up now 2 0 here with. Uh, 12.39 left in the first. Take a look here as the Chargers gain the zone. McNally comes up with the puck at the top of the circle. No hesitation. Buries it stick side. Tremendous shot by McNally. 2-0 Chargers. There we go. Face off at center ice now. Chemex win the face off and get control of it. Midland's got to weather the storm. We saw him come back with a rush the last time the Chargers scored. They got to, they got to get some points on the board. Miller up with it with Wong. Both in the zone. Shane Dunsmore also in there. High stick called right there against the Chargers. So that'll bring the face off, bring a new face off here for the Chemex and Chargers. Yeah, they, they, you know, but you can't let the goals get to you at this point. You know, you still have to play this game. You got a lot of time left. Main focus now is try to throw one in the net real quick and get something down your own end to get this moving for them. And if your coach plays you, you're telling your Chargers, just keep doing what you're doing. Oh, absolutely. Great start here. Yep. Couldn't have drawn it up any better. Face off in just to the left of Derek Stryker here. Chemex win the face off. Get it down low. Dunsmore with a puck. Fell on back up, though. In the corner still here. Oh, Chargers are shorthanded here. I guess I didn't see that they were got a penalty here, but... Uh, Cross check, penalty against the Chargers, so the Chemex are on a power play. That's a good advantage for them right now. Huge opportunity. Absolutely. Just what the doctor ordered. They need to take advantage and capitalize. Moody brings it up to Evans. Evans takes a shot, and Stryker able to make that save. And uh, quick shot by Evans right into the chest of Stryker. So we'll get a face off over here just to the right of Stryker. And uh, got a minute 30 left on this Chemex power play. Well, just keep Pepper in the goalie if you're Midland High. Throw it at the net, good things will happen. Chargers able to clear on that one right there. Puck goes all the way down, Walters plays it. Uh, puts it by everybody and uh, Yudong Wong able to come up with the puck, makes a quick pass over, quick shot. Backhand shot by Dunsmore right there, goes right into the chest of Stryker with the save. But again, the pressure's there, Kemex coming out with some pressure right now. And that's what you love to see and they have to. The backs, their backs are against the wall in the early going. They've put themselves in a two nothing hole. Gotta respond. And this is a good chance here. Still got a minute 13 left on the power play. Again, Chemex win the, the face off, but it's it's cleared out right now and uh, Chargers are coming. Brett Brillhart with the, coming in with a puck. Wasn't able to get much on it. And now uh, here comes the Chemex again, but it's stolen. Turned Roberts, over in the neutral yep, zone. Roberts with the steal. Brings it in shorthanded, trying to find a shot. Can't get one. Walters with a save. Chemex now get control, pushed up, and uh, dumped in right now. Jacob Coffey dumps in with a puck. Chemex, or Charger defense clears it out and gets a clear. 40 seconds left on the power play right now. Walters settles it down for his defenseman. Dow able to change and get fresh bodies on the ice to mm -hmm. kill off the last part of this penalty. Here comes Chemex. Coffey dumps it in. Charger's defense goes in. Healy got it, tried to send it out of the zone. Can't get it cleared out. Fighting for it along the boards right now. Paisley with the puck, trying to find a clear, and he just whips it down the ice for the clear, sends it deep in. Walters kicks it up to his to Coffee along the boards. Coffee sends it along the boards down, and the defense able to clear it again down the ice. This should pretty much kill off the power play. Cranslin with the puck, sends it up. Nowhere, nobody there. Paisley with the puck now. Charger there at full stank. Hits Milholland coming out of the box. And he's, he's controlling the puck along the boards. Down low. Walks it up. 20. Nice save by Walters there. Shot by Wagner. Blocked by the Chemex. Here we go, one on one. Looks like, oh, we got a whistle now. Hand pass coming out. So that'll bring the face off into the neutral. Back, excuse me, back into the Chemex zone here. Dow had a nice chance that time as Milholland drew the double team, passed out of it, and eventually passed it back to Wagner who had a nice shot from the yeah, point. Yeah, he had a good coming in on the point, so 
But like you said, nice save by Walter. Had to have it and made the save. Got 10 minutes left in the first period here. Chargers win. Loftus wins a faceoff. Sends it in the zone. Chemics get control of it on the defensive zone. Tries to go high off the glass. Not able to. It hits the netting, and uh, the faceoff will stay deep here in the Chemex zone. 9.54 left here in the first period. We're getting uh, pace to settle down a little bit, it seems, right now. Yeah, both so. teams are settling in, and we'll see what Midland can muster offensively. Evans able to get the puck cleared out. Passes it up to Ranky. Ranky sends it in. Chargers get control of the puck in the defensive zone. Miss a pass, and we'll get an icing. Just a little out of the reach. And uh, Michael Leslie trying to make that pass. and just or Excuse me, it looks like it was Wagner. I'm sorry. Wagner able to make that pass and uh, just misses it. So the faceoff will come down into the charter zone. Just to the left, a striker here. 9.39 left in the first period. Faceoff sends it over. Evans is going to go for it on the point there for the Chemex. Sends it deep into the zone. Brookins picks it up. Gets it over to... Lee, who tries to clear the zone. Brookins with the puck again, tries to go the other side this time. Brillhart gets it, starts skating it up. Makes the pass over to Roberts, who sends it deep. Walters is going to settle it down. Sends it up the board. Over there, Brookins able to keep it in the zone. Evans on fighting for it now with Brillhart over along the boards. Chargers are able to keep it in the zone. Moody now tries to get the puck. Brian brings it up. Gets it up to uh, Dunsmore. Dunsmore now skating it up in into the Charger zone, sends it down around the boards. Leslie able to grab it. And still in the zone, now it's cleared out. Roberts bringing it up. Brings it into the Chemex zone. Backhand shot goes behind the net. Charger still controlling the puck in the zone. A little bit of work going on along the boards. Chemex now get control. And clears, they, they're able to clear the zone. Healy able to dump it back in for the Chargers. Comes to get the puck. Nice move here. Luke Trombley able to make some moves, get a shot off, but it goes high in front of the net. Trombley fighting for it. No shot on that at all. Good work along the boards by both teams right now down low. Fighting hard for it. Good competitive spirit going by both teams here. Andrew Healy brings it in. Walters controls it, throws it out of the zone, tries to get it out of the zone. Huge it's hit by Nowak for the Chemex there. And clean. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so Chemex get control now, blue line. Not able to clear it out. Fight along the boards again here. McNally gets a hold of the puck now. Chemex get it again. Trying to clear it out of the zone. Milholland gets it. Chemex now control it. Bringing it into the Charger zone here. Cleared the zone. Coffee with it, brings it around. Brandon Witt with it, over to Coffee. Now the Chargers get control of it, bringing it up. Long pass over, no, no pass there. Wagner with it, gets it in the zone. Block shot, still stays with it. Loftus gets it, tries to shoot, nothing there. Wagner still fighting with it down low. Here comes Bruce Shaver with a shot. Walter's able to make that save. Chargers still controlling. Bruce Shaver walks it out, out in front of the net, tries to find a shot, it's blocked in front. Chargers still controlling here, and now it's shot up and off the net. Big shot by, uh, I think that's Hitchcock that came out from the defensive side there and made the shot. So a little good pace going right there, getting a little physical also. Oh, yeah, you love to see that within the rules of the game, and some, let's see if some of those big hits can bring some momentum for Midland High, trying to get something going, get their fans and their students back into it as they trail 2-0. Well, we got seven minutes left here in this first period. Face off to the left of Walters. Nobody still, Loftus gets it now. Chemex come up with it. Bringing it out of the zone. A little bit of a trip, no call though. Chargers able to send it back into the Chemex zone. Moody going after it. Gets control, loses it. Still got it in the corner, fighting with it. Ian McMahon fighting for it here. Up to the boards. Chemex get control, skating it out. Dumped in deep. Ranky dumps it in deep for the Chemex. Chargers able to get control of it in the zone though and brought up. Bruce Shaver bringing it up along the boards. Loses control back to the Chemex. Chemex get control. Mitchell Gardner able to dump it off the boards. Now the Chargers able to get control and dump it back into the Chemex zone. Evans now with the puck. Free to skate. Chargers are on a change. Big pass up to Shane Meyer. Meyer gets a tap on it just to get it in. Gets a line change. Chargers defense gets control of it. 
quick pass up to Brillhart. Sends it up to Roberts. Roberts loses control in the Kevin zone. Now gets it back. Trip coming. The penalty coming here. Quick shot, though. Brillhart with a quick shot. Walters able to get it, but we're going to get a penalty against Kevin right now. Tripping call. What a huge save by Walter there as Brillhart had himself a wide open shot despite the delayed penalty coming, and Walters had to be big in that there, and he was. And he's, he's, it's almost like he woke up now, and he's starting to stand on his head a little bit for this Kemick team. So <laughs> Kemmicks are going to go on a power play here. Or excuse me, Chargers are going on a power play, my bad. And uh, we got 5.58 left in the first period, so two-minute power play here for the Chargers. Face off to the right of Walters, waiting for the puck drop. Huge task for the Midland High penalty right. kill unit. Again, yes. Cannot afford to go down 3-0. That's not what they would want to have happen. Chargers get control here. Quick shot. Leslie with the, or excuse me, Zach Paisley with the quick shot. And uh, the block off Walters goes up into the netting. So we'll get another faceoff. Faceoff's going to come again to the right of Walters. 551, 153 left on the penalty. And uh, we're going to get a switch out of the centerman now here for the Chemex. Didn't like the way that was set up. And that one was won by the Gardner, able to be able to shoot it out of the zone and uh, right into the Dow High bench. Yeah, heads up over there, Coach Blasey. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing meant by that shot, right? <laughs> 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 so the faceoff will come back down in the Chemex zone just to the left of Walters here, and uh, we'll do this again. Quick faceoffs going here. Yeah. Chargers now win the faceoff, able to control it up at the point. Down low in the corner, get the linesman out of the way here. And, Roberts with the puck now, able to uh, walk it around. Just some passing now, trying to see what they can get set up here. Somebody trying to find that right shot. Down low now. McNally with the puck, up to the point. Quick shot, nothing there. Blocked again by Walters. Roberts now in the low corner. Brillhart up to the point now. Seeing Leslie, Leslie with a quick shot, blocked off. Not much of a shot. Leslie again up on the point now, looking for something. Takes another quick shot. It's blocked low. Gets through. Leslie now again able to dump it down, and it's cleared out. You know, Wong able to clear that out. Big, get a forward line change. Big sequence by the Chemex there. Fought off a couple of shots, and we're able to get it out of the zone. Yeah, and then we got 52 seconds left on this penalty. Again, there it is. Evans will be able to clear the puck all the way down in the charger zone. Striker gets control of it. Leaves it for Leslie. Leslie brings it up. And the Chargers are going to try to bring this puck up to the zone. Nelly with the puck now. Dumps it in. All the way around the boards. Roberts with it. Trying to do something. Moody over there to bother him with it a little bit. Able to get up to the point. Brillhart. Down now over to the right. Down low. Chargers still just looking for that shot. Moving the puck around. Good puck movement. Quick shot by McNally. Blocked by Walters. Nice pad saved by Walters. Down low in the corner now. And Kemix are able to clear again, get the puck out of the zone with 10 seconds now left on this power play. McNally now taking in one on one, get a quick shot between the two defenders and goes left. And this power play is over with. Just like that, Kemix do a good job again, clear, or being able to kill off that penalty. Now they have to avoid what happened to him last time. Dow came right back and scored, although it was even strength. Kemix got control now. And Whip gets it up. Luke Trombley bringing it in, tries to make a pass over. Nice pass over to Miller. No, they couldn't get the shot off, though. Miller fighting down in the corner with it. Chargers able to clear. Chemists get control now. Pass over to Krenzlin. Krenzlin doesn't control it. And it goes to Wagner. Wagner bringing it in. It's blocked off. Trombley able to get that puck away from him. Chemists try to get turnover. control. Can turnover again. Yep. Right in front of the goalie. Big wax there going on in front of the net. Fight in the corner. There's a big struggle going on in the corner, too, here. A little physical. A little bit physical here. Midland very fortunate there as they turn the puck over in their own net. It looked like Dow had a great opportunity to score, but unable to corral the puck in front of the net. Midland catches a break there. Oh, well, yeah, and especially for Walters. You know, I mean, it, those are the kind of things the goaltenders don't like to see happen. Oh, no. You know, especially when your defenseman lets you down <laughs> in front of you. So no. face off dumped into the corner here in, in the Chemex zone. Evans able to try to get it out. Brookins gets it on the point for the Chargers. Tries to shoot. Bruce Shaver got in the way of that one. Gets control of the puck down to Loftus, who sends it down low for Milholland. Big fight in the corner. Evans comes up with it, battling for it still. Brings it around to the other side now. Tries to get it around to Miller. Can't get it through. 
Krenzlin able to get it up to Miller. Miller's fighting along the boards now. Milholland sends it back in. Evans gets it, clears it out now. Go! Dunsmore coming up with a puck. Able to keep it in the Chargers' zone. Trying to bring it around. Brookins fighting with him on that one. Both two Huge players go play. hard into the boards. Both up, though, to keep going with it. Loftus gets control at center ice and dumps it in. A lot of one-on-one -on -one battles going on right yep, now. and you and like those. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> what it's all about. Moody gets control of it. Sends it around. Now the Chemics are trying to get control of it here. Yudong Wang able to get control of the puck. Feeds it over. Miller. Miller is still fighting for it. He and Sleeper going after it. Sleeper gets it. Turns around and comes the other way with it. Able to get it out of the zone. Yes, it's it, going to be offsides. So we're at 156 left. I don't know why that whistle was called, but looks like they stayed out of the zone before nobody was going after it. But that's okay. We'll take the face off. <laughs> so, so far, a lot of good speed and action going on here at the Midland Civic Arena, Arena tonight. Chargers win that one, win the face off, able to push it up. Roberts coming up with it. Skating into the zone, gets a quick shot. Walters again with the save. Walters has done a great job of weathering the storm. He's been busy. He has, and he's done it. You know, after those first two goals, he's definitely shut the door on it. So, doing a good job holding that up. And here comes the charge again. Lee with the puck, loses it. Trombley with it going into the corner. Battling down low in the corner now, both Chemex and Chargers, and the Chargers come up with a puck. Trying to get it out of their zone. Able to get it off the boards and up. Lee with the puck, dumps it in for a line change. It gives the Chemex time to try to move this puck out of the zone. Witt brings it in, tries to get in the zone, can't. Chemex got to clear to get the onside. As they do, that brings, gives the Chargers a chance. Wagner bringing it up, gets a quick shot. Good glove save there by Walters. He's definitely shutting the door on, you know, behind him right now. So. Oh yeah, Walters uh, looks to be in sync now, in absolutely. a rhythm, seeing the puck well. He needs to uh, count on his guys offensively, though. Midland's got to get something to back him up, as there has been little to no action. And they really haven't had too many shots no. on the, in this period right now to give him some help. So, faceoff will come here to the right. One Charger player getting out of the zone, and here we go. We're back to action here with 56 seconds left now. Long pass down over. To Leslie. Leslie tries to throw it in deep. Krenzlin able to get the puck around. Fight for it along the boards now, the low boards. Chargers able to keep it in the zone. Still keeping it in the zone here. Leslie with the puck over to Wagner. Wagner with a shot, goes wide. Kemmick's now able to clear it out. Meyer with it, touches it so it goes into the zone. Meyer going into the deep end zone now, trying to get after it. Battling with Wagner on the puck. Chargers able to get a clear here. Krenzlin back checking on this one, back skating on this one, able to slow it down a little bit. Rinky down low in the corner also for the Chemex trying to battle for it. McNally comes up with it, still low. One last push here. Yep, trying to get something 10. going. They're going to pin it against the boards here. That's probably where it's going to end up for the period. And uh, as the clock ticks down to zero, they'll just let it sit and we'll finish off this period. So, uh, you know, the Chargers come out and get those two quick goals, and from there it's... Uh, been Colin Walters has definitely shut the door on for the Chemex. Oh yeah, they, and the way Dow has played offensively, Colin Walters has been forced to be at top of his game. He wasn't necessarily sharp in the early going, but he's really settled down here, and he's given, he's really kept Midland in the game. It could very well easily be more than just two nothing Dow, but uh, Midland's got to get something going offensively. Yeah, he's got to talk to his forwards here in the locker room and tell him, hey, I, you know, I'm in control now. You guys got to give me some help. So. But uh, th th that should do it for the first period here. We'll be back for more action here at the Midland Civic Arena for the second period. Stay by, people. We'll be back for some more action. And welcome back to the Midland Civic Arena. Tonight's game, the Dow High Chargers home team versus the Midland High Chemex visiting team. First period is in the books. Chargers have a lead of 2-0. Uh, goals were scored by... Uh, Stephen Roberts was the first goal, and McNally was the second goal here for the Chargers. Um, shots on goal tonight, 17 shots by the Chargers in the first period, three by the Chemex. We're going to get into that in just a second. Right now, a couple quick announcements. Again, the MCTV channels are going to move from charter on the Charter Communications cable. Starting January 21st, you'll find MCTV's four community access stations 
on channels 188 through 191. Again, this will start taking effect on January 21st. Our game times, Friday, January 17th, which is this evening at 11.30 p.m. You'll find it on MCTV 97. And then on Saturday and Sunday, the 18th and 19th, the games will be played on 8 a.m. and 8 p.m., so make sure you're watching those. Uh, let's go back to the shots real quick, Jake. 17 shots to three. We had talked about Colin Walters standing on his head after those two goals. That shows it. Oh, yeah, what a great job. You can't say enough about the way he responded. You know, it looked it looked bad if you're a Kemic fan in the early going. Two quick goals for Dow, and Dow didn't slow up the pressure any at all. And the numbers would indicate that with them leading the advantage in shots 17 to 3 but Walters has been huge in net for Midland and he's a re huge reason why quite frankly they're still in this game. Oh absolutely and you know that's what they're talking about in the locker room right now is saying hey guys we need to put some pucks in the net at least get some shots three shots in the first period alone isn't going to win you a hockey game. Absolutely not it puts yourself in a hole and uh, the scoreboard shows it with the Chargers up to nothing but uh, you know, credit, you know, credit the Chargers. Uh, Roberts, just as we mentioned in the pregame, has been strong all year long for the Chargers. And right on cue, he came out, scored his 21st goal of the season, and the Chargers were rolling from there. Well, yeah, and again, uh, you know, you look at the neutral zone. I mean, the Chemics are being able to, they're basically trying to do a dump and chase here, trying to get something set up. And the Charger defense is just taking that away from them and not giving them a chance to get too many. You know, they've had some good work around the front of the net in front of Stryker, but just nothing quality to say is a good scoring chance at this point. Right, right. Stryker has been uh, very comfortable in that, to say yep. the least, as he hasn't, uh, he hasn't faced much at all. Well, and then you look at this in, you know, the, in the, the Chargers offensively tonight so far in this first period. Uh, once they get that puck in the zone, they're doing a decent job of giving themselves set up. They've had two power plays that they took, you know, they did good work on getting a few good shots off of there. But again, you know, as you'd said earlier, after those first two goals, you thought, wow, this is going to be, you know, something's going to go wrong here for the Chemics. But boy, all of a sudden that woke Colin Walters up and he's done a fantastic job since. Absolutely. And you, uh, you touched on it briefly, but Midland High offensively, it seems to be their game plan is a dump and chase. Do you look for Coach Brown to switch that up as things obviously in the first period were not working whatsoever on the offensive end? Well, I think, you know, I guess in my opinion, it, it, you could see that they weren't doing a good job going one-on-one -on -one against that Charger defense trying to go in. So I think you almost have to at this point to stay with, but you got to be able to attack it and get on that puck quick because otherwise the Charger defense is picking it up and able to get it back out of the zone on them. So you have to be able to get those forwards into that zone quick. Uh, you know, first guy in has got to get in there and do something with the puck and try to set it up. But I, I think as we had talked off the air, you just got to throw the puck at the net at this point and right. see what can happen. Right. Three shots, like you said, not going to win you a hockey game. Absolutely not. Right. Well, the Chemics are coming back out on the ice. The Zamboni's off. The referees are getting the net set here, so we'll be underway shortly. Um, again, I'm going to announce this again while I have, <laughs> have the time to do this, so we're going to do it. Uh, starting January 21st, Tuesday, you'll find the MCDV4 Community Access Channels will be 188 through 191. We're going to let you know that so you will know where to find them. This game will be telecast tonight at 1130 uh, on MCTV Channel 97. And then on Saturday and Sunday, the 18th and 19th, they'll be at 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. again on MCTV Channel 97. Uh, so make sure you tune in to watch these games if you can. Enjoy them. Uh, we're having a lot of fun tonight being down here. The crowd is great. Student sections have been awesome. Uh, you know, this is it, this is what it's all about. You know, being this close to exam week for the students, you didn't know how many people were going to come out for this game tonight, but uh, this crowd is excellent. That's right. You don't remember the nights you stayed home and studied, I always no. say. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. I mean, you don't want to be home for this tonight. This is a big game. Uh, you got the Northwood game going next door, so this place is rocking over here tonight. And, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Players are to the benches, coaches are to the benches, refs are ready to go, linesmen here ready to go, and we're going to get this second period underway for you. No, no uh, penalties going right now, so it's five-on-five five hockey, and uh, Kemmerich will be going from right to left, Chargers going left to right, and we're ready to go. And we have a goalie change for the Kemmerichs. Looks like they, we'll get to that in just a second here. Kemmerichs get control, bring it in, trying to get a shot off, nothing there. Chargers able to bring it around. Kemmerich's doing a good job controlling the puck quick. Dunsmore down low. Chargers get control. 
Evans able to keep it in the zone, though. Dunsmore misses along the board. Tries to swing it around to Wong, and he can't keep control of it, and the puck's cleared out. Dumped in again real quick. Chargers get control. Able to send it down. Tipped off, off the stick of Brillhart to keep it in the zone. Evans tries to clear it out. Roberts picks it up. Nobody there. Chargers able to push it up. Here comes the Chargers now. Wong bringing it up. Passes over. Gets a quick pass over to Dunsmore. Quick shot. Stryker able to control that. Dunsmore swinging around out front. Can't coffee. Can't get the, or excuse me, Miller with the shot, but wasn't able to get it in. Open net there for Miller and wasn't able to put it in. We got a faceoff coming, but let's talk about this goalie change here. In the net for the Chemex for the second period will be Wudong Wang. We'll see if the uh, change of pace will help the Chemex. Well, that's kind of surprising yeah. after what I thought was a, a good second half of that period, but maybe this was a game plan by Brown, so we'll see what comes out of that. But uh, Chargers able to clear it out. This could be an icing, so it'll come back all the way down. And, and Terry, it it's worth noting the way the Chemex have come out of the gates offensively. Already we've seen more pressure on Stryker in the Chargers defensive own or defensive end, a great scoring chance early there, and uh, that's more than we saw in the first period. I, I agree totally, so maybe that will help, you know, push the guys offensively a little bit more with that change, so we'll see what happens there. Face off again, won by the Chemex, Coffee down low in the corner with it, fighting for it with Witt down there for the Chargers. Defensively, uh, McNally down there in the corner with Hitchcock, able to bring it up. Chargers get control, Milholland now brings it up. Tried to shut down by Krenzel in there, and it's shot on net. Not really much of a shot, but Wong able to Wang is able to make the save, and uh, we'll get a face off just to the right side of him. And Wang with a little bit easier start with that last oh, soft pass. Oh, absolutely, path absolutely. Not much of a shot. Right. Walters <laughs> was thrown in the fire, and uh, and it came hot. Oh yeah. <laughs> Chemex able to win control of the face off. Nowak with the puck. Brings it around, tries to clear it out of the zone. Can't get it out of the zone. Fight for it down low now. Loftus and Gardner fight for it. Gardner able to come up with it. Pick its puck up to Ranky. Ranky sends it up, and it's dumped into the Chargers zone. Meyer going after it now. Battling down low. With Kemmick still able to get control of it, and it's cleared out of the zone. Kemmick, or excuse me, Chargers able to clear it out of the zone. Moody racing for it now. He and Dorman. Loftus gets it. Bruce Shaver after it. Moody's still able to fight for it here. Bruce Shaver gets control for the Chargers. Tries to send it. Nothing there. Dunsmore with the puck now. Brings it up on his own. Hits the red line. Blue line. Still skating with it. Takes a quick shot. It's blocked. Uh, Dunsmore still fighting with it down low in the corner. Sends it around. Dorman able to keep it in, and we get a whistle. Got a penalty coming. Got a penalty. Tripping penalty. Now that's that's going to be on Midland High. That is not what they needed. They are starting to muster some pressure offensively. This one's going against the Chargers. Oh, it is going against Bruce Shaver. Yeah, that's a huge Bruce then for Yeah, yep, that's a uh, Bruce Shaver going in for a tripping call at the 1440 mark here in the second period. Faceoff's going to stay in the Kemick offensive zone just to the right of Stryker. So Kemmicks will go on a power play here. Yeah, huge opportunity to get back into this game. Fighting down low against uh, along the boards. Moody able to get control of it. Stays with it. Gets a quick shot off. Striker with a pad save there. McNally without a stick for Dow. And he's battling low. Doing a good job battling low against Miller down low. Moody with another quick shot from the point. Right into the chest of uh, Striker with a save. 20, sec or 20 seconds. Burned off the clock there on that power play. Down to 140 left. Faceoff will stay in the Charger zone. Midland's got to get some traffic in front of Stryker that time as the shot came in from the point, but no one in front of the net for Midland. Easy save for Stryker. And he's seeing it. Like right. you said, he's getting the chance to see it. Leslie goes off with a broken stick. Kemmicks win the face off. Trombley sends it down low in the corner. Jacob Coffey fighting for it down low against Healy. Battling still low in the corner. Wit with it. Now back up to the point, back up to Trombley. Trombley sends it down low again. Brings it around, quick shot, striker, and saved again. Another quick save, another quick shot, but again, he's seeing the shots like you had mentioned. Both lines, both teams making changes here. We've got 121 left on the power play. Faceoff will go to the left side of striker now, still in their zone. Faceoff won by the Chemex, quick shot from the point, goes to the left side down low. Chemex again still controlling it. 
Patton tries to make a long pass over to Dunsmore. Or excuse me, uh, Dunsmore. It was Dunsmore, my bad. Kemmicks keep control. Still able to get it. Evans sends it over. Dunsmore with it now low in the corner. Battling with it. Roberts down low. Evans with the puck now. Brings it around. Looking for a pass. Gets it up to Yunan Wong. Controlling it now. Looking for something to do with it. Switching positions here. Down back down low to Evans. Evan has it. Behind the net. Leslie trying to go in there, try to battle with him. Keep control of it. Dunsmore up to Moody. Moody. Oh, that's offsides now. Touched it up. Chemex did touch. So that'll bring the face off outside of the zone now. Fans, don't forget to tune in to these games. They'll be replayed Friday, January 17th at 11.30 p.m. And then again on Saturday and Sunday, January 18th and 19th at 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. All right, here we go. Face-offs one. Coffee trying to go in for it. It's in the Charger zone. Coffee able to keep it in. Whip going out in the corner now. We're back up to Coffee. Coffee gets control. Pushes up to Moody. Moody back down to Coffee. Coffee still has it. Battling. Chargers get control now and able to clear it out. Chemex try to send it in. Waits for guys to clear out of the zone. Able to. Is it to Brookins? Able to clear it out. Now, uh, Coffee, excuse me, Mueller with the puck. Send it down into the zone. Coffee now going for it. 10 seconds left on the power play. Keeps it low. Witt coming for the puck now. Looks for Miller. Finds Miller down low. Miller back up to the point. Moody with a shot. And it's a goal! A redirection in front of the yep. net. Exactly what we talked there. about. There it is. Exactly. Yes. Moody with a shot from the point. And uh, it looks like Brendan Witt is going to get the goal for the char or for the Chemex. A and, huge uh, goal. I don't know. If it was The penalty had just finished. Expired on that, I believe. So... It looked like this would be, uh, they'll probably consider it a, a full strength goal, but uh, that's what you would, like we had said, the Chemex needed that and they got it. Yeah, take a look at the replay here. The Chemex able to get traffic in front of the net. Redirection, goal for the Chemex. No chance for a striker. Midland High right back in this game. It's 2-1. to one. It's 2-1 to one and here we go. Chargers coming into the zone. Now. Quick shot there by uh, McNally and it's held on to. So here we go. We got the... Is that cool? Uh, the goal was by Moody. They gave Moody the goal with the assist of Jordan Miller. So uh, there you go. Chemex now, it's 2-1 to one now. Chargers with 12.25 left to go in this second period. In the zone here, Evans battling along the boards with Milholland. Evans able to come up with it. Not cleared yet. Chargers still fighting for it. Now it's cleared out, and they dump it back in. Boys come out, clear out, ready to jump back in. Farrell gets a puck, sends it around the boards. Not able to clear it yet, though, and Chargers are still fighting for it. Farrell with the low, puck low. Chargers able to get it. Wagner tries to shoot it in, hits the ceiling, and uh, we'll get another faceoff. It'll be interesting to see here how the Chargers respond. For, and for the first time tonight, it's really felt like a close game. Dow came storming out of the gates, two quick goals, and then it was stalemated for the rest of the first period and now Midland has made it a one-shot game. Let's see how Dow responds leading by just one goal. All right, faceoff's on here and it's down low in the Chemex zone still. On, and bringing it around. Chargers still keep control. Lee with the puck. Tries to Lee back now with the puck. Chemex still battling here. Brillhart battling with it against uh, Nowak. Makes a pass over. It's stolen here. Able to bring it up. Kemmick's bringing it up now. Dunsmore with the puck. Tries to bring it in his own camp. And it's cleared back out. Miller with it. Tries to get it deep. Chargers gain control again. Brookins loses the puck. Still can't get it out. Tries to push it up to Brillhart. Can't. Huge Kept in the zone. Miller with a pass out front, but nobody there. Both skaters passed right by it. And the Chargers get control and are bringing it up. Roberts with the puck. Bringing it up. Clears the zone. Big shot, hits the ceiling again. Evans able to deflect that one up into the ceiling. Midland continuing the pressure, and they are not content with one goal. They're, they're looking to tie this thing up. And well, and it seems like that pressure has gone the opposite way now with the Chemex now putting more pressure on here, and the Chargers sitting back a little bit, uh, thinking that, you know, they were in control, and it's just not that case anymore. That's right, one-shot game. Absolutely. So here we go. Chargers throw the puck deep into the zone again. Moody after it. Fight for it with uh, McMahon. Chemex get control. Bring it up. Witt with the puck going after it low against uh, Sleeper. Chemex get control. Pass out in front. 
And that's off the boring, I believe, is going to be our whistle. That'll bring the face off out of the zone, depending on which way we're going here. Terry, the physicality of this game starting to pick up as well, and the uh, score would indicate we've got ourselves a hockey game. It's oh, absolutely. And that's what we came here for. That's right, that's right. <laughs> you know, we want to see this. but it, So the face is going to come outside the zone. Drop of the puck, here we go. Chemex win the face off, but Dow controls. And now the Chemex can control into their zone, but still have control. Shooting around the around the boards. It's coffee, tries to get it out. Up to Trombley. Trombley able to try to clear, but it doesn't clear. Trombley's still fighting for it. And it's able to clear. Trombley with a puck now, bringing it in. Crosses that blue line, still skating with it. Loftus after now for the Chargers, and we're going to have a penalty coming against the Chargers. Yep. And there's the touch. This one's going to go against Loftus, I believe. He had his hands up right high. Right around the neck. Yep. So that's a good call. And it'll give the Chemex another power play here at the 10-13 uh, mark. Now Midland student sections with some, finally some stuff to cheer about. And uh, Midland with a great opportunity here on the power play, looking to tie this game up. And the faceoff's going to go left side of striker. Chemex win the faceoff. Trombley tries to dump it in low. Evans gets control of the puck. Cummings still control, loses it. Roberts able to pick it up. Dunsmore lost it off the stick there. Roberts coming in, able to get a quick shot. Goes just to the right of the net. No, no shot on goal there. Cummings get the puck back now. Dunsmore trying to get it up the boards, can't. Battle along the boards now. Trombley trying to get it away. Fighting with McNally for it. Cummings able to lose it and lost control again of it. Paisley with it, goes in deep now for the Chargers. Battling low against uh, Trombley. Now Moody gets it, misses the puck, trying to get it out. Chemex can't get it out on this power play, now they do. Dunsmore with it now, tries to get it. Evans up to Dunsmore, still can't get it into the zone. Nice play in the neutral zone that time by Leslie for Dow. Here comes the Chemex now, got control of the puck. Long bringing it in. He's got it down low in the corner, still with it. Chemex able to try to keep it in, can't, and it's cleared out. Crinsland going after it now against McNally. McNally fighting hard for it. McNally comes up with a puck, gets a quick shot, blocked in front. Clears it out now to Roberts out in the neutral zone. Down low over to Leslie. Leslie just dumps it in. What a Crinsland. kill thus far by Dow. So far, we got 35 seconds left on this power play, and the Chemex still have barely even been able to get it out of their zone. And here we go, Lee with the puck now, deep low in the corner, battling against Nowak for that puck. Dunsmore comes up with it. Dunsmore tries to get around the net. He's getting just manhandled down here, so he finally gets rid of it. Here comes the Chemex now, trying to get a breakout up to Evans. Evans at the red line. Just tries to come in with the puck right now. Can't get a shot off, and the Chargers again gain control. Five seconds left on the power play, and uh, Wong behind the net controls it. Sets it up for Nowak here, and uh, we're back to full strength now. Both teams at full strength. Chargers get control of it. Here comes Witt with the puck, tries to send it up. Miller now has the puck, dumps it in. Going after Hitchcock. Hitchcock down low, trying to clear it out for the Chargers. Can't. Miller with it again, keeping it low. Here comes the Chargers now. McNally with the puck, coming up along the boards against Cranes, and Cranes only able to steal it away from him. Sends it to Miller. Miller dumps it in deep. Uh, Hitchcock going after it. Comes around the boards. Chemex able to keep it in. Moody trying to skate in. In can't. Player without a stick there for the Chemex. A lot of guys along the boards. Good thing they almost got the too many men, but no call. Chargers try to swing it around. Chemex keep it in. Miller. Roberts now gets, gets by uh, Dorman. And we got another penalty coming. We got a trip coming. Yep, Roberts again for Dow putting the pressure yep. on Midland. We saw that in the first period leading to a penalty by Midland. We see it again here. And Dorman, you know, he's a, he's a sophomore, first year on his team. You got to get used to that speed. You know, once they get by you, you got to let them go. You know, you can't go after him with the trip. So Chargers now going on a power play with 7.23 left in this second period. Faceoff comes to the left side of Wong. And uh, we're waiting for a stick to get cleared off, and we'll be ready for the puck drop. And here we go. So it's a tripping call against uh, Dorman. Puts the Chargers on a power play. Going low now to Loftus. Loftus back up. 
to Wagner. Loft is down low now. Bruce Shaver's got it. Or excuse me, Milholland. Milholland tries to get a shot. Bruce Shaver high, sticks it into the corner. Kemick's trying to clear. Moody gets the puck. Able to clear the puck. Down into the Chargers zone. Lee with the puck now in the corner. Bring it around. Trying to get something set up here. Pushes it up. Wagner with the puck. Bring it into the zone. Kemick's back skating here. Trying to get into their square. and Trying to set this up. Keeping the puck out of the zone. In the front of the net here. Chargers down. Bringing it in. Milholland with a quick shot. Wong with a save. And it's in. It's, it's a in. goal. Loft just got himself a rebound and put it in the back of the net. Yeah, Milholland with the. Go ahead. Dow on top now, 3 1. And yeah, as you said, Milholland did a great job of getting the puck on net. Loftus found himself a loose puck and picked up the trash around the net. Another goal for the Chargers. Yeah, and one did a good job on the first save, uh, you know, getting that first shot taken care of, but that's where you need the defenseman. Take a look at the replay here as Milholland receives the pass. Does the night, or the point rather, receives the pass back to Milholland. Milholland goes around the defenders, throws it at the net, putting the pressure on Midland, and Loftus in the right place at the right yeah. time. Knows exactly what to do with that loose puck. 3 1 Chargers. Yeah, able to just poke check that right through. So it's a power play goal for the Chargers. Uh, plays back in now, 6.28 left to go in the second period. Kemick's dumping into the zone, trying to get something going here again. Witt going after it. Uh, Kemick's able to bring it out in front. Witt's got the puck now, pass it out in front over there. Kemick, or Chargers get control, Sleeper with the puck. Coming back in, Kemick's keeping in the zone. Sleeper battling with Trombley down low in the corner. Chargers get control of the puck, bringing it out. Passes it up. Pass over to Bruce Shaver, or excuse me, McNally. Healy. Healy with the puck, now McNally with the puck down low, bringing it in. Passes over to Healy. Healy from the point, takes a shot, it's blocked out in front. Doesn't get through at all. Kemmicks try to clear, but Healy keeps it in. Big hit in the corner. Battling down low here with Witt. Healy again dumps it in, and we got an elbow call coming. So the Chargers now are going to go into the box. We got a penalty for Paisley right now. It looked like the call was an elbowing. So at the 5.43 mark now in the second period, we've got... Uh, a two-minute penalty going against the Chargers on the goal here. Uh, Loftus with the goal, and the assist goes to Wagner and Milholland on that goal. Yeah, it all started with Wagner holding it at the point, past the Milholland, who was assertive with the puck. Next thing you know, it's in the back of the net. Oh, here we got some no no call there on that. Kemmicks get the puck, trying to get something set up here. Moody, Moody back over to Trombley, brought up. Give him to Witt. Witt brings it in, dumps it into the or Charger zone. Miller going after it. Coffee going after it. Roberts down low, battling against uh, Coffee. Roberts comes up with it, able to clear it out of the zone and trying to get some going. Moody sends it over to the side here. Probably able to get the puck, trying to find somewhere to get through. Hits the red line and dumps it in. Roberts down low. Coffee coming, or excuse me, Miller coming in. Roberts able to clear the puck out of the zone. And you got Lee coming after it. Long makes this cover because he didn't want the Chargers to get control and uh, able to cover that up. We got uh, 110 left on the power play. 453 left in the second period here. Scores three to one. Chargers leading. Uh, real quick, we want to go over that. Well, yeah. We'll hold on. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get it. We'll get some announcements going here. Quick shot out the face off here. Wong able to make the save. Kemmicks come up with it. Pass up. Trying to get it into the zone here. Wong able to dump the puck into the zone. Evans battling for it down along the boards. Gets control of it. Sends it back deep. Wong coming behind the net. Misses the puck. And Chargers able to get control of it and send it deep out of the zone. His brother here gets his net behind the net, picks it up. McNally with the puck now coming around the front of the Kemick net, takes a shot, nothing there, goes wide. Kemick's now get control again. 30 seconds left in the power play here. Kemick's trying to get something going here. Dunsmore bringing it up, trying to get in the zone. Bumped off the puck by Healy. Tries to make the pass out front, doesn't go through. And the Chargers are able to clear here. Nice defensive play that time by McNally, who went down to all four, sprawled out, blocked the pass. Moody with the puck, sends it up to Dun or Huang. 
He dumps it into the zone. Evans goes after it. Chargers able to get control of it. Brookins gets control. Tries to clear. Loft is able to push it out of the zone. Here comes the Chemex now again. Nowak with the puck. We're at full strength. Five on five hockey again. 3.38 left in the second period. And uh, we'll get another face off. Offsides on the call, I believe. And Terry, if you're Midland High, I think you're all right with five on five hockey as they have not been able to get anything going on the last two power plays. Credit Dow for the effective penalty kill the last two trips out there. Absolutely. So real quick again, we're going to get this in starting Tuesday, January 21st. MCTV's four community access channels will be switched to channel 188 through 191. Be sure to make sure you're checking that and putting it on your uh, remote now for it. Deep in the Chemex zone now. Chemex trying to get the clear. They do. Bringing it up. Skate to the red line, blue line. Bringing it into the charger zone. They're able to try to make a pass over. Striker pushes it off. Chemex able to keep it down into the charger zone. And it's cleared out. Puck's going down now. Meyer with the puck tries to get his out. Uh, did not hit the netting, so it's still here. Chargers get control, dump it into the zone. Bruce Shaver dumps it in. Krenzlin gets to, goes into the corner with Loftus, battling for it. It's kept in the zone. Loftus comes up with it, tries to make a move in front of the net. Can't, so the Chemex gain control. Nice physical defense that time by Nowak from Midland High. Ranky dumps it into the Chargers zone. Chargers get control. Wagner with the puck. Big hit there. Wagner into the boards. Ranky loses a stick. Delayed and comes penalty. Into the zone. And yeah, you're right. We're going back to the power play. We're getting a roughing call. And I think that'll go against uh, Ranky. And imagine he's, he is. He's going in the box. Ranky right. upset with the call. He felt like it was a good, clean, right. physical exactly. hit. Exactly. And then uh, referee disagreed with that one. So, <laughs> And unfortunately for Ranky, the referee with a little bit more power. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So 2.31 left to go here in the second period. Charges up 3-1, to one, going on the power play. Chemex, the face-off in the Chemex zone. Another huge kill for Midland. It Backs against be. the wall. Yep, it has to be. Chargers get control off the face-off. Bring it around over to Leslie. Leslie in front on the point. Down low. Brillhart, control, looking for a pass. Chemex doing a good job keeping it out of the middle. Leslie with a quick shot. It's deflected in front by Roberts, but off to the side. Chargers gain control again. Tries to push pass over to Brillhart. Brillhart with a, a great wrist shot. Goes over the shoulder of Wang. And able to get the goal for the fourth goal of the Chargers here. Wow. Uh, and a power play goal. Yeah, Brillhart went bar down on that one. No chance for the goalie. What an incredible shot. Dow on top. Now 4-1. to one. And what a costly penalty leading to a huge power play goal for the Chargers. And just... That was just an all-around tremendous individual effort by Brillhart. As we take a look at this replay, he receives the pass, right circle, just everything he's got into that wrist shot, bar down, glove side. That's a thing of beauty for that the was. Chargers. That's a great shot right there. When you see somebody that can put it over top shelf like that, great shot. But again, for the Kennex, they do. They were doing a good job on the penalty kill, just couldn't do it. Now we got a penalty coming Pull in the hole. Get the out of your butt! Wow, this is the last thing. Absolutely. Midland Dunsmore High doesn't needs. understand that one, but he's going to, Shane Dunsmore going to the box for the Chemex now, uh, putting the Chargers back on the power play with 2.03 left here in the, in the second period. Uh, not what they needed. And no. That's going to frustrate those that coaching staff big time. In a rivalry game like this, you can't let your emotions get the best of you. We might have seen that from Dunsmore that time as he took a, an, a foolish penalty, put the Chargers right back on the power play. Chemex backs against the wall again. And they win the face off and keep the puck in the zone. McNally with the puck down low. Set, setting up the play up to Leslie on the point. Leslie with a shot, goes out the glass behind, and it's able to and it's shot into the bench. Moody with the I believe that was Moody with the shot into the Charger bench. And it was. Hard to get the numbers sometimes on these guys, but we're working that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we got 146 on the power play, 149 on the clock left in the second period. Charge, or Chemex win the face off this time. Moody again tries to clear. Can't. Kept in the zone. McNally on the little boards. Over to Leslie. Leslie passes it down low to Brillhart. Brillhart looking for a pass. Hits a skate of Miller. Brillhart gets it back. Still trying to find something along the side here. Trying to look for something. Finds Leslie back up on top. Big shot by Roberts. And Wong able to make that save. Good shoulder save. Battle along the side. Roberts again on the point with another quick shot. 
And Wong with a great save there. Saw it all the way, able to make that quick save. A couple of huge saves that time by Wong as this game is in danger of tempering on the verge of a blowout. And he made some huge saves there to keep his team in the game down three here. Well, the Kemics are just changing their forwards right now. We got 115 left on this power play, 118 left in the second. Face off in the Kemic zone. Chargers win it. Milhan with the puck, looking for somewhere to go right now. Passes it up. Uh, Lee with the puck, down low now. Wagner with it. Kemics get it. Nowak trying to clear it out, but can't. Battling down low. Milholland brings it around. Moody goes after him. Nice play by Milholland to gain control there. Kept the puck. Milholland down low now, down to uh, Loftus. Loftus trying to bring it around with a backhand. Can't get nothing there. Milholland in front, though, for the goal and the shot. Davis right. Milholland, what a shot. Receives the pass. Had the whole net to work with, and he doesn't miss from there. Davis Milholland. Big goal for the Chargers. They're on top, 5-1. A costly penalty by Midland leads to a power play goal for the Chargers. Yeah, and again, like you said, it was a power play goal again, and they're just taking advantage of these power plays. Go ahead, Jig. Yeah, Follow. take a look at the replay. Midland on the penalty kill. One less guy out there. Dow takes advantage. Going around the net that time is Loftus. Backhand pass to Milholland, who buries it. Great shot by Davis Milholland. He's contributing with assists and now a goal. Chargers on top, 5-1. Well, he and Loftus are working well together right here. Goal by Milholland and assist to uh, Ethan Loftus and assistant Sam Brewshaber. So uh, good group right there. They seem to be playing well, feeding off each other, and it's a good goal. But back to action here. we got 28 seconds left in this period. Chargers are still battling here. McNally with the puck, trying to feed someone out front. Tried to hit Leslie, but it's blocked away. Puck blocked away by Gardner. Now Gardner going after it against Wagner. And when it's offside, Squires tries to clear back out. And now Kemmich get it. McNally going into the zone here. Meyer trying to battle him off. Can't. Quick shot by uh, McNally, and it's blocked off by Wang. Chargers still keep it in. Blocked in front. Squires battling for it, and that'll hit the whistle. And for Terry, as well as Midland High started this period, they scored a goal. It was 2-1. Dow answered better, better than Midland started, and that would explain the 5-1 lead for the Chargers. Well, yeah, I mean, like you said, it was the penalties that hurt in there, two power play goals in this period. Uh, you know, and again, you look at the goalie change. Did that make an effect on this at all? You know, you can't call that. It's nice to see Walters come out there and support his other goalie uh, as they're skating off the ice right here. But, again, the power plays definitely hurt him. A couple, you know, as you said, uncontrolled penalties there that didn't need to happen for the Chemex, and I think that hurt him a little. Right. Let's talk a little bit more about that goalie situation. You know, you never question the coach knows his team better than anyone, but from our perspective, tough to understand why he went away from Walters with how well he finished that period. I agree with you on that one. I won't argue that one. Well, folks, we're here at second period, just come to an end. Zamboni's on the ice. Chargers take a 5-1 lead after two periods, and we'll be back shortly to give you the third period coverage. And welcome back to the Midland Civic Arena here. We're about ready to start the third period, the game behind the, between the Dow High Chargers and the Midland High Chemex. Right now, after two periods, the Chargers are in control of this game with a 5-1 lead. Uh, we had, the Chargers were able to get two power play goals in that second period. Scores were uh, late in the period, but able to get the goals. Uh, the first goal was uh, they were able to score three goals in that period. Goal by Ethan Loftus with the assist to... Wagner and number nine Davis Milholland and then on the power play they were able to score a goal Brett Brillhart gets the goal with the assist to Travis McNally and then the third goal of the period scored by Davis Milholland also a power play goal with the assist to Ethan Loftus and Sam Brewshaber. Shots on goal for this period uh, six for the Chemex and 13 for the Chargers so now with a total shots on goal Chargers with 30 and the Chemex with nine going into this third period and uh, we got a 5-1 ball game going here, Jake. And yeah, Midland what are we looking out, to do here? Yeah, Midland came out of the gates in that second period. Storming, ready to go. They cut it to a one-goal game. It was 2-1, and Midland was starting to build some momentum. But a couple of costly penalties by the Chemex gave Dow the opportunity. And as you touched on, Dow took the, made the most of it. Two pow power play goals, uh, Milholland and Loftus, both doing a great job of 
the production on the offensive end for the Chargers, and Dallas really taking a stranglehold on this game due to those power play goals late in the second period. Well, we looked at a couple line changes that both teams have done. Uh, the Chargers, you look at, uh, they brought Milholland out now to go on that line with, Dave, or excuse me, with uh, Bruce Schaber and Loftus, and they got a power play goal out of it. Uh, Loftus with, you know, a goal and assist tonight, a couple of them out there. And now with the Chemics, you saw some of those fourth liners coming out. Kind of makes you wonder where they're at with this game right now. Uh, you know, the seriousness of it. Are we looking at something different going here in the third? Are both teams going to just kind of play a neutral zone game here? Or are we looking at the still the same high intensity going into this third period? Right. Striker in net for the Chargers for Midland High. Wang will remain between the pipes and the... That goalie change is something we saw between the first and second period for Midland, but uh, Coach Brown electing to stick with Wang here in the third period. Well, we're getting ready to put this third period underway, and we do. The puck is dropped, and Kemmicks take control here. Uh, able to move it up. Chargers get it back, though. Along the boards, Chargers get control, trying to make a pass over. Evans gets control, but tries to bring it around. Can't do much with the puck. It's stolen here by the Chargers down low in the corner. Roberts puts it behind the net to Dunsmore, and Dunsmore tries to clean it up, gets a pass back, give and go quick. Dunsmore coming along the boards, gets by Leslie, the defenseman, and goes into the corner against Roberts. Robert, Robert gets it to Brookins. Brookins now over to Brillhart. Brillhart feeds it over back to Roberts, coming up along the side. Evans going after the puck for the Chemex defensively, and he's able to clear it out. Chargers get control. Brookins up to Brillhart at the red line. Brillhart dumps the puck in. And that gives Wong the chance behind the net, settles it down for Evans. Evans gets control of the puck, tries to find something to do with it. He's getting bothered by the Chargers here. Bill Holland after him. Chargers get control of McNally. McNally still has the puck in the center ice. And that brings Trombley to it. Trombley tries to get it can. Wong gets control of it behind the net. Comes the Chemex, or Chargers quick. Chemex get control. And I think we got a net off the boring, so we'll get a face off here. Yeah, Paisley had to uh, duck out of the way of two defenders that time. And what <laughs> almost was got it? his head taken right, off. Right, right. It was <laughs> that or run into the net. And he wisely chose to take out the net while we'll the stoppage in play. And Zach's not a big guy, so he's going to be smart and duck <laughs> right. out of that instead of take that hit. So face off stays into the Chemex zone. Paisley with the puck up, up point now with Wagner. Wagner takes a shot, pad stop. Bill Holland tries to get it back in the net, can't. Oh, there's a big hit, and that's going to cost the Chargers right there. Big hit by Paisley, threw the elbow up, and I think that'll be the call. Paisley going to the net. Evans took the hit behind the net. Or excuse me, no, that wasn't Evans. I'm sorry, that was Krenzlin with the hit, took the hit. And Paisley going to the box for the Chargers, put the Chemex on the power play now. Yeah, and Terry, I think Paisley heard you say he's not a very big guy, and he was <laughs> determined. He wanted a little payback. That's back, right. He? he was determined to show you <laughs> otherwise, and unfortunately for Dow, it leads to the penalty. Big opportunity here for Midland on the power play. Well, and they got to take advantage of this power play right now. 15-39 left in the third period. Two-minute power play coming up for the Chemex. They win the faceoff, and they had control of it, but now it's cleared out. Nice stick Luke, work by Brillhart to clear that puck. Luke Tromley with a puck behind his own net, trying to find a pass out. Looks for the pass, finds it up along the board. They can't control it. Brillhart dumps it back in. That was Coffee along the side with a pass. Kemmings again coming up with the puck, pushes it up to Witt. Witt's got the puck now, hits the red line and dumps it in. Off of Leslie. Roberts gets the pass, can't get it out of his own. Jordan with it now, Miller. Miller tries to do something with it, but it can't, and it's cleared out again by the Chargers. Trombley with the puck, dumps it in. Leslie gets the puck, clears it out. Two on one. Gets by Trombley now, and trying to find something with it. Can't get the shot off. Behind the net now with control. And now the Kemmicks come up with it. But in, the, in the corner here, Lee with the puck, tries to push it out, gets it out of the zone, back up to Leslie. Leslie just back skating now, killing off the penalty. And clears it all the way down the ice. Kemmicks pick up the puck, trying to push it up now. Here they come, trying to get to the red line, gets to it. Evans with it, brings it into the zone. Can't get by, and Chargers are able to clear again. Roberts with the clear. Trying to get, Kemix just trying to get control right now, and they can, but Nally gets a steal on the puck. Comes in, big save there by Long. Kemmicks get the puck again, control it, lose it. Mill Holland with it down in the low in the corner now. Battling with Nowak down low in the corner. 24 seconds left on the power here, power play here. Milholland does a good job trying to just kill the puck down in the end. 
Kemick's come up with it. Pushing up Evans now across ice now over to Gardner. Gardner trying to get into the zone. Brookins battling with him. Brookins gets it, clears it away. Pass up now to Milholland. Milholland gets it and clears his own. Six seconds left in the power play. Long settles it down now for his teammate. Nowak coming back for the puck. Picks it up, starts bringing it up. Power play is over. Big pass up the ice to Wong. Wong bringing it into the zone now. Battles with Brookins. Down low. Dunsmore with the puck down in the corner, battling with it. Gets it up to Wang, Wang with the, you know, up to the top. To Nowak, Nowak with a shot. Down low in the corner now, battling. Kemmicks come up with the puck, bring it out in front. No shot, another quick shot blocked in front. Can't tell who that is. Backhand clear, another shot right there by Wang. Misses the net. Dunsmore pushes it, lets it go. Now the Chargers get the puck, bringing it up. Brillhart with it. Quick shot blocked off by Evans and goes into the netting. So a little bit of action going, quick action going here on yeah, this one. Yeah, Midland's getting more action offensively when it's even strength. For whatever reason, whether it's Dow's penalty unit, penalty kill unit, or Midland's power play, when Midland's um, on the power play, they've been unable to muster anything offensively. But as soon as that scoreboard says full strength, Midland's on the attack on the offensive end. And they got a, they've got a couple good scoring opportunities. The Chemex did even on the 5-on-5 five five here. Got 12.58 left in the third period. 5-1 Chargers. Chemex battling for the puck now. Meyer going into the corner. Gets it. Tries to push it up. Nobody there for the Chemex. Wagner dumps it back into the zone. Pushed up along the side now. Out of the zone. Wagner with it. Dumps it in so his guys can clear. Moody with the puck. Brings it over. Pushed it up, and nobody touches, so we're going to have an icing call here against the Chemex. That'll bring it all the way back into the zone. So real quick, we'll get you an announcement here. Yeah, let's take this time to remind you that MCTV's channels are on the move on Charter Communications Cable starting Tuesday, January 21st. You'll find MCTV's four community access stations on channels 188 through 191. All right, face-off action. Drop the puck. Here we go. It's cleared out of the Chemex zone. Bringing it up, Ranky, Ranky bringing it into the zone. It's taken away uh, by Wagner. Wagner puts it up the boards. Chargers bringing it up now. Loftus with the puck, skating through center ice into the zone. Chemex zone. Brings it out, sent it out in front of the net. Nobody there. Couldn't get the shot off. That was to Wagner. Chargers get it again at the red line, and we got a whistle. So we're going to get a face off here. Chargers are going to go ahead and get a line change here. And this one's going to go neutral zone face off just outside of the Charger zone. Yeah, that last sequence, Wagner nearly snuck behind the Midland High defense for a redirect, but uh, Midland was able to prevent that from happening. Nice job defensively. Yep, nice pass right to the middle. So again, face off here. Evans with it. He's going to get it and dump it in quick. Brookins blocks that and tries to clear it out. They get the clear. Milholland going after it now. Battling with uh, Dorman for the Chemex. And Dorman sends it in and we'll get an icing call. A lot of whistles to start this period. 11.57 left in the third period. Chargers up 5-1. Uh, this telecast will play tonight at 11.30 on MCTV Channel 97. And then Saturday and Sunday, the 18th and 19th at 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Again on MCTV Channel 97 on your charter dial. So you can watch this game a couple times. Chemex coming now. Got the pressure. Bringing it in. Uh, Witt with the puck. Tries to dump it in. Sends it over. Coffee with the puck now. Trying to bring it around to the front. Can't get it. Can't, or Chargers get control now. Skating it up now is Leslie. Leslie or Paisley. Paisley with a shot goes over top. Oh, and there's a quick shot in front. And Wang's got it. Pushes off now. He had control of that puck and no whistle. So the Chargers kept coming. And uh, Wang did not like that at all. He didn't no, like the he guys took coming offense to that. Absolutely. He, he had can't that, blame him. Right. He had that puck covered. Yep. No whistle. And a uh, player for Dow took a shot with the stick and uh, both teams became a little riled up there and uh, that's nice to see both teams giving it everything they've got well, in a 5-1 game. You know, Wong Dong Wayne should, he, you know, he's got it covered. He's got to get that whistle. The ref's got to get right. that whistle quick because that's, you know, putting something on the goalie that you don't want to do. Right, you know, right. It's going to cause an injury or something. Yep. So. Compromising situation yeah. that the goalie doesn't <laughs> want to be in. Compromising situations are never good, are they? That's right. So here we go. Faceoffs dropped and the uh, Chargers get control. Keep it in the zone. They dump it down low. And we got uh, Chemex along the boards here. Both teams battling for it. Brillhart comes up with it, going back down in the corner. Dorman going after it with him. Tries to push it out in front. Nothing there. Chemex get control of it. Skating it up. Lose control now. 
And Chargers dump it deep again. Pushes it out in front. No shot. Couldn't get the shot off. Here comes Dunsmore with the puck now, bringing it up. Dumps it into the zone. That then gets cleared out right away. And they dump, Chargers dump it back in and get a line change. And we got another whistle here. So that'll bring the faceoff back out into the Chargers zone with uh, 10.48 left to go here in this third period. Sometimes games like these, when it becomes apparent which team will win, the physicality and intensity picks up. And it has. Mm -hmm. And you're seeing a lot more different players now. From You're seeing some third and fourth line players from both teams coming out in this game right now. Uh, Chargers have to change the faceoff now. John Wilson going in for the Chargers to take that face off. A little battle down in front of the net. Down in the corner now. Loftus with it. Passes it up. Hits uh, McMahon with it. McMahon trying to skate in. Throws it deep into the corner. Loftus down low in for it. Battle to Nowak. Nowak comes up with the puck. Misses it out in front. And it's cleared out. Hitchcock now going back for it for the Chargers. Looking for something off I up ice. Finds a guy along the side. Still not cleared yet. Now McMahon gets the puck back. Pushes it up. McMahon tries to get rid of it. Kemmick's got control now. Dump it into the zone. And we're going to get an icing call here against Kemix. So the faceoff will come back down into the Kemix zone. And that last sequence, the young sophomore, Johnny Wilson, scrappy player, came away with the puck behind the net. Did a nice job of applying pressure for the Chargers. But Midland's defense was able to prevent anything more from occurring. Well, and I think it's what we had talked, you know, at the start of this period that you're going to see this thing settle down and both mm -hmm. teams just kind of ride out the third period. And I think that's what we're starting to see right now. Chemists get control of it, skating up. Dump it into the Chargers zone. Chargers now get control of it, bringing it up. McNally with the puck coming along the left side here. Defense backing up on him. Nothing there, no shot. Chemists get control now, pushing it up. Uh, Witt. Coming into the zone, picks the puck, gets the puck around Brookins. No stick now for Witt, loses a stick, so that gives the Chargers a chance to pick it up and do something with it. Paisley with it now, down low. McMahon picks it up, comes around the net, getting battled by Trombley. Able to push it up. Chemex get control again. Nowak able to get the puck, clears it out of the zone. Here comes the Chemex. Pushes it over to the side here. Witt gets it. It's cleared out of the zone. Chargers get it, and they pass it up. Nobody there. We're going to get an icing now against Chargers, so that'll bring the puck back into the Chargers zone. 9.14 left to go into the third period here. Uh, MCTV channels are on the move. Charter Communications starting January 21st. The MCTV four community access stations will be switching to channels 188 through 191, so make sure you make those changes and get ready. Uh, Charter making some different situations happen here as of the 21st, so be ready for them. Evans gets the puck off the face off in the neutral zone. Finds Dunsmore. Dunsmore gets it stolen by Roberts. Roberts comes in. Quick shot goes over the net. Behind the Kemick net now. Evans picks it up. Battling down low against um, Brillhart. Brillhart over to and Miller now along the boards. Battling with uh, Lee. Everybody's battling along the boards. Lee scrapping it a little bit. A uh, shot on net now all the way down. So no icing. Battling now low as Wang with... Uh, in the corner against the Chargers. Miller picks it up. Doden down, pass the puck down low. Chargers get control. Miller tries to get something with it. Can't get a shot off. Brings it back up for Cranesland. He puts it over to Evans. Evans just backhands it up, trying to find a Kemick. Nobody there. Chargers get control with the red line, dump it in. And Evans now picking it up behind the net, skating up. He's got some room to skate here with the line change for the Chargers. Hits a red line and dumps it in. Dumps it in deep behind the net. Hitchcock back there. Chargers get control. Loftus looking for a pass. Finds McMahon up along the side. McMahon tries to take a shot. Misses the net. Along the outside. Loftus now down low. Chargers keep control. Pass out in front by Wilson. Loftus battling for it now. Wilson and Loftus down low. Wilson's got it now. He's bringing it to the front of the net. Gets a quick shot. Goes over the net. Wagner jumping into the play a little bit. He's trying to get, keep the puck in the zone. He does. He's still going to go down in the corner. Battles with Evans down low in the corner. Benson takes the front of the net for the Chemex. Two Chargers. Everybody's battling in the corner right now trying to get this puck. And now we get an arm up by the referee. And uh, a little bit of scraping going out here in front. Wagner for the Chargers. And uh, I think that was Dunsmore. 
for the Chemex battling out in front. So, uh, yeah, I think the nerves are getting a little hot now. That right they now. are. That they are. And it, <laughs> it's almost inevitable in a midland Dow rivalry, any sport. Well, it looks like uh, I think Evans is going to go to the box here for the Chemex. Holding call here at 7.33 with Evans going into the box. And a uh, little bit of chirping going on by both sides as they clear right, the ice, right. getting the line changed. So. No, and it wouldn't be a Midland Dow game without any of that. Team. But now it's up to these referees to make sure it stops there and nothing and you keep more this, results. Yeah, you want right. to keep this under control. Nobody getting hurt. Everybody goes home happy and safe. So 7.33 left in the third period here. Two-minute power play here going for the Chargers. In the Kemick zone, the faceoff. Chargers get control up to Leslie. Leslie up on the point. Passes over to Pearl Hart. Pearl Hart down low to uh, Roberts. Gets a quick shot. Blocked in front. Kemick's trying to battle to get control. You got Wang with the, got control of it, but couldn't clear over to Leslie. Leslie with a quick shot, and what a glove save. What a glove save right there by Wang Dong Wang with the save. Oh, it stuck the glove out and able to nab that shot quick. That was a pretty display of goaltending by Wang there. As Dow moved the puck nicely, had a nice shot, but Wang shut the door. 138 left on the power play. Chargers get control of the faceoff. Up to Leslie at the point. Leslie with a shot, he scores! He's able to sneak it by the uh, under the stick of Wang and be able to get that goal for a 6-1 lead now. Another power play goal by the, by the Chargers. That's the third time we've seen Midland take a penalty that might not have been a necessary penalty. It could have been a motion getting the best of them. And the third time Dow's capitalized on it. This time it's McNally from, or Leslie rather, from the point beating Wang. Stick side, Dow's up 6-1. Well, again, it was a, just a quick shot by Leslie from the point. He had a little bit of a uh, few people in front of the net. Yeah, and traffic. He had a little traffic and able to sneak that one by. So, 6-1 to one now. Chargers with the lead. 7.05 left in the third period. Uh, assist here. Leslie with the goal. And the assist go to uh, Travis McNally. And another assist goes to Zach Paisley. We've got 6.53 left. Chargers get control of the puck in the Kemick zone. He's trying to work some things, trying to shoot. A quick shot over here, and Wang able to make that save. Quick shot by uh, Healy for the Chargers, and now we got a, another whistle here. Looks like we're off sides. Chargers weren't able to clear quick enough when they dumped it back in, so we'll get a face off just outside in the neutral zone. Um, 6.42 left in the third. And uh, that goal right there, you know, that's what they kind of call a backbreaker there for the Chemex. No mean, doubt. Now you just want to get out of this game and make it look respectable. Right. Chemex win the faceoff. Nowak coming up behind the net here with the puck. Passes it up. Gets it up to Witt. Witt gets control of it. Able to move it up. It's Trombley. Trombley trying to do something with the puck and getting battled with it. Now the Chargers get control of the puck back in the Chemex zone. Big shot right here. And it's, it's a goal. I believe that was Nick Sleeper took the shot. It looked like it got redirected in front of the net. And uh, looked like it wasn't much of it. It looked like it was going to be a big slap shot. And it didn't turn out to be much of a shot. But Sleeper able to get it to the net. I believe that's Sleeper. Uh, tough to read the number. But here's a replay. Yeah, Sleeper with the blast from the point. Kind of a, the equivalent of a changeup in baseball. All kinds of sticks. It looked it looks like, like Lee's in front. Yeah. Can't tell if he got a piece of it from that replay. Um, but they are giving the goal to Sleeper. So it looks like it was his shot, his goal, and that gives the Chargers a 7-1 lead right now with 6.15 left in the third period. So uh, Wang just didn't see that one coming. It, I think he was expecting a bigger shot. McNally with a big shot there, and Wang with a big save right off the pad. Chargers stay with control of the puck. Leslie pushes it over. Another shot here. Uh, by Healy from the point. Chargers keep control. Big shot there by Sleeper again. He's getting wicked with the shot yeah, here from the is. point now, trying to keep it going. That's right. <laughs> Sleeper's watched a little too much Mighty Ducks with those knuckle pucks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it, was, it proved to be effective, yeah. that last goal. And it worked. It, you know, you, you throw it in that and look what can happen right. for it. So that didn't happen. No, you're not a problem at all for Sleeper. We get a line change for both teams here. 554 left, face off in the Kemic zone. Chargers get control, but now Kemix get it back real quick. Dunsmore with it. Pushes it over to Miller. Miller gets it along the board, starts skating with it. McNally come to bother him. Steals the puck, but no, it's kept with the Gardner with it, able to dump it into the zone. Chargers get control in the zone, though, and able to push it out. It hits the stick of Dunsmore, but uh, Stryker able to make the cover on that. And uh, 
Chargers not real happy with Dunsmore going in like that, but he's going to go to the whistle stop. So it's what you got to do at this point when you're down. That's right. You got You can't be too aggressive. There's no such thing as too aggressive if you're Midland High down 7-1. Face off in the Charger zone, just to the left of Stryker. Gardner's going to take it for the Chemex. Loft is for the Chargers. Chain line changes are done, and here we go. Pucks drop, and we're off. Chemex win it. Kept in by Moody. Moody dumps it in deep. Miller going back along the boards for it. Tries to keep control of it. He's getting it in the skates. Able to get control, but Chargers able to get that pass. Milholland dumps it out of his own with a pass from Loftus. Hits the referee. Milholland picks it up there, and he's hit in the boards by Fosgett. Fosgett does a good job on that play in the defensive corner, battling. Kemick's trying to get it. Moody gets it, tries to send it around. Can't get it hard enough. Kemick's still getting control, trying to find somebody to get out of the zone here. Chargers are still relentless on that pursuit going after it. Up to the point, Wagner dumps it in deep, coming around all the way to the boards now for Hitchcock. Hitchcock sends it back down in. Paul Smith in this game now for the Chargers down low in the corner, battling. They were kept in by Milholland. Kemick's just trying to clear it out right now. Moody down in the corner trying to clear it out. Can't seem to get it out of the zone right now for the Chemex. And there's a clear, but it's kept in. Again, nice glove keep in there by Wagner. Wagner keeps it in. Bill Holland goes behind the net with Fosgett. Fosgett tries to send it up the board, but Wagner pinches in. Dunsmore trying to push him off. Chargers again behind the net. It's pushed out in front. Loftus with a quick shot. It goes to the side. Nothing there. No shot, no net. Loftus again battling in front. Sammy Bruchaver comes in now. Loftus gives a big hit there. We got a penalty coming. Bruce Shiver with a quick shot, nothing over the net. Mill Holland down in the corner with Miller and Fosgett, and now we get the whistle, touch up in the whistle, so we'll get another penalty here. And that all started with the impressive point play by Wagner for the Chargers, who was able to keep the puck in play several times, or in the Chargers offensive zone several times, keeping the pressure on Midland High. Well, we're getting an inner... We're getting another, uh, or the power, the penalty here. I'm not sure who went into the, here's the hit there by uh, Fosgett going into the box. So the charge, or, excuse me, Chemex are going to be down, a, a man. They're going to go to shorthanded here. 408 left in the third period. Chargers on a power play, face off in the Chemex zone. Chargers get control, backhand shot there by, Le or excuse me, uh, by Paisley. Paisley stays controlled up to Brillhart. Brillhart over to Leslie. Paisley comes across, gets control. Quick shot there uh, by McMahon. McNally, excuse me, can't, do, can't get it through. Chargers are keeping control. Paisley down low. Trying to set it up, getting bothered by Coffey there. Behind the net now. Chargers keep control, trying to get their passing set up. Up to the point, down low again to Paisley. Paisley over here to Leslie, up on the point. With a quick shot, trying to hit that top over glove side. And the chart, or Chemex are able to clear it out in front. Can't, oh, now we got a whistle down low. It looked like we were going to get a quick breakaway by Wang here, and uh, we get a whistle. Yeah, and that's off the boring. Yeah, unfortunate for Midland High there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. As it looked like they are going to have a breakaway with. Yudong Wang was yeah. looking for that breakaway, and all of a sudden he got a whistle, and he didn't like that. So. We got 3.25 left to go here in the third period. Chargers up 7-1 to one on a power play with 1.17 left to go on that power play. Faceoff's going to come out of the Chemex zone in the neutral zone. Here we go with a puck drop. John Wilson in there he wins it over to Leslie. Leslie now to Wagner. Wagner's going to skate it in. Brings it in. Evans trying to get in front of him. Just gets a quick shot off. Wang with a quick save. And they try to clear. Can't get it cleared out of the zone yet, though. Leslie sends it down deep. Wilson with it, sends it around. Smith now in with it, tries to set it up front. Can't, a lot of high stick work going out in front of that net right now. Yeah, Wilson got hit in the neck Yes, the he stick. did, and nobody saw that one, so. Down low now, Smith sends it behind the net. He's a tough Push kid. it over to Krenzen, Krenzen tries to clear it out, and he does, gets under the glove of Leslie. Pushes it back now. Send it up here. And Chargers send it in deep. Wilson going in for it against uh, Evans. Evans able to clear it out again. And Leslie sends it back in. Evans gets it in, clears it out. Wilson right here again. Now we get another whistle. And we're going to have a face off just out in the neutral zone here, just outside the Kemick zone. 2.29 left to go in this game. 21 seconds left to go on the power play. Again, we're going to announce that MCDV channels are switching 
on Charter Communications starting January 21st, all four community access stations when we switch into channels 188 through 191. Here comes the charges, a quick shot there by Healy. Stays in the zone, Bruce Shaver sends it and hits the netting. So we'll get a face off, we will come out of the zone, into the neutral zone here. Chargers hit it out, so they'll have to come out of the zone for the face off. 2.20 left, 12 seconds left to go on the power play. Yeah, and if you're Midland High, you know, this game obviously already decided, but you would love to have something to build off here moving forward. You know, this game didn't go the way you wanted, but you can't. You don't want to see your guys quit. You want to see them come up with some momentum to carry forward. And if you're Dow, you just stay on the gas pedal. Absolutely, and they have it that. They, they definitely have done that so far. So the puck goes into the zone. Dorman gets a puck, tries to send it around, trying to clear it out. Chargers able to keep it in. Still battling for it. Down low, Loftus. Bruce Shaver gets control of it, looking for a pass. Penalty's over. Kevin are at full strength. Wang makes a save in front of the net. Bruce Shaver gets control of the puck again, sends it over to the point. Quick shot there by Healy, and Wang gets control of it, and it's covered in front of the net. Lots of people down low in front of the net, trying to get out of there. No sense getting carried away there at this point. Let's clear the bodies, and let's get playing again. That's right, 153 remaining here, and we talked about anything Midland can salvage from this game. Wang's been great in net in this third period. He faced all kinds of shots in that last power play, stopped them all. Well, yeah, and it, you know, it, it'll go back. It just seems like it almost builds that goalie controversy for this kind of team right now because you and I both kind of agreed that uh, Welter had played a good, strong second part of that first period. So Kemix get control, dumping into the Chargers zone here. 143 left to go in this third period. Hitchcock with it, tries to send it up, gets it up to Farrell. Farrell gets control of it, swings it over to Smith. Smith dumps it into the Kemix zone, and we get an icing call. No touch-up, so the icing call is there, and it'll come back into the charter zone with 131 left to go. One last final time, a reminder to tune in tonight, Friday, January 17th at 11.30 p.m. for this telecast, and then again on Saturday and Sunday, January 18th and 19th at 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. And we're just getting told a stat here. Kemick still have not had a shot on goal yet in this third period. Wow. That's not good. Here comes the first one, though. There it is, Stryker. Quick shot there. Uh, Yudon Wing gets a quick shot, and Stryker able to make that save. Uh, puck's dumped all the way back into the Kemick zone. Moody comes up with it, looking for a pass out. Can't find one. Just sends it out of the zone. Brookins gets it and send it back into the zone, and it goes into the netting. So that faceoff will come back out of the zone. Well, Terry, that first shot on goal for the period for the Kemmers was a good one. Great chance for Huang, but uh, Stryker hasn't faced many shots tonight, but he was strong in goal there. He was. And, uh, you, you know, when you don't get a lot of shots, you get sitting back there in your net, and sometimes the first shot comes. That's you're not right. ready for it. And it usually can end up going in on you, but face off at center ice here. Chargers and Chemex battling here. Chargers up with a lead, 7-1 to one, uh, in the third period here. One minute left to go in this third period. Chemex here trying to battle, trying to get something going here. Loftus gets through, puck out of the zone. Loftus battling for it now, brings it in, the, and it's going to be offsides. Didn't, the, got kind of hung up there, so he has to come back out. Chargers clear out. Squires with a puck along the boards, trying to get it out. Doing a good job along the boards, pushes it up. Chargers get back control of it, though. Loftus gets it in. Nowak gets the puck, brings it up, trying to come into the zone, gets blocked off, and we got a penalty coming here against the Chargers. Nowak uh, got kind of hung up there, so he's going to get the interference call. Chargers are going to get called for it, and uh, they're going to go shorthanded here. Chemist will get a power play with 34 seconds left to go in the game. I believe they're calling that on... Looks like it's Bruce Shaver. Yep, Bruce Shaver yep, going Shaver. into the box. Second penalty of the game for him. So he'll be sitting the last 34 seconds of this game. 7-1 Chargers. McMahon for Dow was really upset with the call. I thought it might have been on him at first. Just defending his Yeah, brother. they just never know sometimes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Puck gets shot down for the clear, and uh, McMahon, or McNally goes after it, gets it in the corner. He's battling both Kemick defenders right now, trying to move the puck through, uh, doing a good job. Kemmicks are on the power play. They get it cleared finally. And uh, Wang able to bring it down. Big hit along the boards. And uh, Wang taken in the boards. Chargers try to clear it. It's kept in. Block shot in front. Paisley with it. Just clears it out of the zone. And folks, that's your hockey game. That'll do it. That will do it as the teams come out to talk to their goalies. Dow High Chargers congratulating Stryker. 
Not too many shots, but he, he did a fair game when he needed to. And uh, Chargers able to win this game 7-1. to one. And, you know, it just kind of it sets that tone for the game in February. But still, you know, you've got an inexperienced growing team out of the Chemex facing an experienced, you know, strong team right now in the Chargers. And, uh, you know, it gives both teams a little bit to think about and grow on here. That's right. And uh, oftentimes in these rivalry games, we see just about anything. But this one tonight went the way we kind of thought it might. And Dow continued what they've done all game long, strong offensive play. Great puck movement, and uh, if you're Midland High, unfortunately, it's back to the drawing board. But uh, as we've mentioned, these teams will see each other again. And uh, if you're Midland High, the focus is on coming up with a game plan to prevent a 7-1 outcome the next time these two teams meet in February. Well, we had two goals scored in the third period here for the Chargers. The first goal scored by Michael Leslie. The assist going to Travis McNally and Zach Paisley. That was a power play goal. And then the second goal scored by Nicholas Sleeper with the assist going to Brett Brillhart. And that put it to a final score of 7-1. to one. Final shots in the third period. The Chargers had nine. Chemex with three for a grand total for the game for the Chargers with 39 shots and the Chemex with 12. Um, and again, you go back to shots on goal. You know, the 39, that's normal. You know, you, you're used to seeing that. 12 shots on goal, you're not going to get much happening off there to try to win a hockey game. That's right. That's credit Dow's defense. But uh, as you mentioned, Midland's got to be able to come up with more pressure and anything productive offensively. And that was the telling stat and route to a big charger victory here tonight. Dow will move to 12-1-1 one one overall. And this was... Although both teams in the Valley, this was not a Valley game, so right. Dow remains 3-1-1 one one in the SVL. And Midland High with the loss falls to 2-10. And, and if you're Coach Blazy, you tell your Chargers, let's, you know, stay on the gas. This is, a, this is we are expected to do this, and this is what uh, um, having a strong team will do for you, and expectations are there, and they did a nice job of coming out executing. Well, and each team, you know, both these teams still got a lot of big games going yet, you know, in their – for the month of January uh, into February, you know, and the playoffs will be coming at the end of the month of February. So there's still a lot of hockey to go for both these teams. They're going to see each other mid-February. Uh, we'll do it again, and then there's always that chance in the districts that they're going to see each other. So, and you never know what can happen. But great game tonight. Both teams battled. Um, again, we will be able to see this game on tonight at 11.30 or the 18th and 19th at 8 a.m. and 8 p.m., both on MCTV Channel 97. Jake, it's been a pleasure. Oh, absolutely, You know, your first Terry. game working with us at MCTV. I hope you had a lot of fun out here with us. And, uh, you know, we had a good time. That's right. It was a you blast know? and uh, great hockey and look forward to more games in the future. Absolutely. So tonight, Midland Civic Arena, the Chargers come out with a 7-1 to victory. Uh, we appreciate you being with us tonight. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you all soon and have a great evening. Thank you.